Welcome. It is the Shahim Podcast. It's a short video podcast each week sharing auto and home insurance tips with Allstate insurance expert, Arshay Seaver. Check it out every week. It can help save you money and clarify what often can be confusing with issues regarding regulations and requirements in the personal liability insurance space. He is the, I got the bacon when you're completely out of bacon and you need your fix guy. He is the antidote to mayhem, and I ain't kidding, Allstate insurance expert, R. Shea Seaver. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hola, hola, como esta? Ah, muy bien, thank you. <laughs> Don't ask me anything else. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know, too. <laughs> Besides uno mas cerveza por favor, and that's it. Uh, mas chips. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, I would appreciate it if you would uh, hold your fingertips up just so I can make sure there were no fireworks injuries over the weekend. Ah, uh, they're all there. Okay. All right. All well there. done. Well Don't done. Don't ask to see my toes. <laughs> well done and well played. All right. Here is kind of a... Um, a kind of a follow-up from the last episode on life insurance. I heard your comments from last week's episode on life insurance, and it occurred to me, how much life insurance do I need anyway? That, that's a tough question. There's, It's not just a one answer or two answer. you got to evaluate a few things to take a look at when, when making that you know decision. Again, like I said before, anything is better than not having anything at all. And when it comes to life insurance, you got to take usually 10 times your income is a good start. Mm -hmm. And depending on what your budget is, you don't want to get something that two years later, you can't afford it. And then you let it go. You start off something small, maybe 10,000 your income, and then maybe go a little bit above that. And then, you know, once, you know, five to 10 years go by, you may want to take a look at, see what your status is. If you start earning more money, or you've increased your debt to income ratio as well by that time, because you just never know. Everybody typically in the past thinks that, well, oh, my health is good. I don't smoke. I'm okay. I'm a runner. I know people that have been in the shower and all of a sudden passed away in the shower and they were a runner. You can be easily driving down the interstate, hit a pothole and mess up your driving skills and you end up running off the road and, and there could be death involved there. Let alone in, in Tennessee right now, there's a little over 500 deaths, uh, road fatalities in the state of Tennessee. So that's one possibility that could happen. But you want to make sure that you always have at least a minimum of 10 times your income. I'm going to purchase another car over the weekend. I can't get in touch with my insurance agent. Am I going to be covered? Can I go ahead and buy the car if I drive it around this weekend? It's very possible. It depends on the insurance company. Mm -hmm. With us, you would be covered. You have up to 30 days from the date of purchase to get that particular vehicle on your policy. Even though I may not be available on Saturday and Sunday, we do offer 24-7 customer care uh, for customers. And the dealership may want that car added on that policy before they leave. Some dealers don't require it, but you can wait till Monday. But even though I say it's up to 30 days to get that vehicle on the policy, doesn't mean wait 30 days and then call and have that vehicle added because we're going to backdate to the date of purchase. So you're not going to get 30 days of free coverage because if you have a lien on the vehicle, that lien holder is going to put coverage on it for that 30 days as well. So, and then you also want to double check with your company because you, if you have a vehicle that's liability only at the time and you don't have collision and comprehensive, you want to make sure with that company that you are okay to purchase that vehicle and wait till Monday to call, even though you don't have full coverage technically at the moment on your current vehicles, or you may want to go ahead and increase full coverage on the vehicle that's already on your policy while you're in the process of buying that vehicle. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the elephant in the room, that being Ele someone looking over your shoulder who is a new addition to the broadcast. That's my stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> On a stick. I tell you, 
He, that sounds like a great new podcast. Stunt right? double on a stick. <laughs> when I'm having a bad hair day. No. Uh, I love that, man. That's awesome. I'm just going to give you a, a little love here for that. That's a, that's, a, that's a terrific new addition. You bring out the best in me, Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> he is the antidote to mayhem. Allstate insurance expert, R. Shea Seaver. We're here every week with tips about life, home, and automobile insurance. We hope you'll join us. We hope you like and comment, and please share this episode. It's a great day with R. Shea Seaver. If you have any questions about your auto policy or have any questions about life insurance in general, please feel free to give me a call at 615-896-SAVE. That's 615-896-7283. Thank you for watching and have a better than good day.